Nick's Ledger Nano setup. Cool, so here's some cinematic shots of the Ledger Nano S. We're going to do an unboxing video. How cool does that look? The Ledger Nano S is a new cryptocurrency hardware wallet. allows you to store your cryptocurrencies offline. Let's take a look-see. Now, like any good unboxing video, I already opened the box. So this is actually the second pass of me opening it. Um, but it doesn't make it any easier with these new uh, consumer packaged product type things. How do you get them open? How? If you have a method, please put that in the comments. I'm not sure how to open it. But look, oh my god, look at this thing. Mmm. It looks just like a USB device, so it's really easy to lose in the millions in Bitcoin and Ripple you got on this thing. Really straightforward, though. It's a little screen with a USB that you plug it into your computer with two buttons on top, and that's how big it is, but you don't know how big my hand is. So, yeah. What else we got in this box here? A nice foam covering and some instructions. In They, they essentially ripped off the iPhone case, the iPhone box. But who's judging? So you got three little cards here. Getting started, we're going to head over there to that website in a second. You have this important card called My Recovery Phrase, uh, which is uh, 20 plus words that's going to read off to you um, that we're going to set off in a second. Um, also, that last card, you might notice that there's no hardware lock. There's no, you know, chastity belt. I don't know what you'd expect on this thing. Um, but each time it connects to your computer, it uh, is pretty well locked down and there's no tampering. The whole thing is hardware tamper proof. So let's jump in. Let's go to start myledger.com. Pop this baby open. Hey, Nemo, looking out in that deep blue sea. Here we go. Welcome. Let's get started with Ledger here. So now pick the middle one because that's the one that you bought. Okay. And don't get fancy. Just click the top left. All right. Don't even think about it. Configure your device. There's only one input to this device and you're going to plug the USB right into there. So this is how you do that. Open it up right in there. Get it right the first time. Don't mess it up. Uh, it's going to read you through some just tutorial options. It'll say welcome to you because I think they're a British company and they're right good chaps. Uh, left and right just a scroll and then you click both of the buttons to select. If you're going back the menu, all the menus have a back button. Cool, so let's click both buttons and we'll fire this puppy up. Cool, so it's going to set a pin code to get in. I'm not going to show you my pin code so you can get wrecked bud. Uh, the default is four, but I went up to six characters, and I think you can do up to eight. Now, we're going to write down our recovery passphrase. Remember that fun sheet that we unboxed a little uh, while ago? Good. Uh, you're going to click through and write down the right numbers in each uh, box. Really straightforward. You can't mess this thing up. It's going to ask you to confirm, and then, boom, your device is now ready. Wow, we're, we're flying through here. And now we're inside. So we've got uh, Bitcoin, we got Ethereum, we got this Fido thing, and I'm getting iMessages. Oh my God. So let's head in here. Let's download the Ethereum wallet on your computer. Cool. And it's going to be a Chrome Store app. Just hit Add to Chrome. Beautiful. And now it's going to be slotted in with all those other Chrome Store apps that you use on a daily basis. <laughs> Oh, God, nobody uses those. Nobody, seriously. So it's going to check for something. I'm not sure. And there we go. Just It's checking to make sure you don't actually use Chrome Store apps um, because it doesn't trust you if you do. Once that's open, uh, you're going to have to uh, pop over back to your Ledger Nano, scroll over to Ethereum, and load up that app. So double click, or I should say dual click, I guess. And now you're inside. So you got some options in there. But don't worry, because once you go inside, uh, this is going to pop open. Select normal Ethereum, because you're not insane. Who the hell is using Ethereum Classic? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, and now here's your wallet. You know, you can send Ether, um, perhaps to me. Um, you can also receive Ethereum. Oh, there's some advanced options as well, but you don't need those. Uh, receive it. Maybe send some my way, you know, for making this nice video. Thanks, Sneaks. Thank you. And we got some help options there. Apparently, they're pretty nice guys. Now, scrolling through, uh, you know, there's a couple different ones, but maybe your other altcoins aren't on there. Maybe you're a grade A beauty and love Ripple. So let's open uh, this Ledger Manager. 
This allows you to uh, manage different cryptos on your device. Cool. So pop this uh, buddy open, and it's going to load up. And here it is. So you got a whole bunch of altcoins, you know, Zcash, yada, yada, yada. Um, but we're, we're top-notch type of people. So we're going to load up Ripple. Um, it's going to read your device for Ripple, and it's going to give you this little confirmation message that says allow, blah, blah, blah. It's going to process, upload Ripple onto the device. Or, or the Ripple application, I should say. It's not going to give you any Ripple. Um, that's okay, though, because it's like 14 cents or something right now. Who knows? Um, yeah, so if you want the Ripple app um, to actually manage the wallet, you're going to have to download it. So head back to that Ledger store. Download that puppy onto your computer because they're not screwing around here. Um, get that thing booted up. you got to launch it from your Finder or wherever. And here it is. Same as before. Uh, just make sure your ledger is inside the Ripple app. It's going to pop open like this. And there we go. There's where all your Ripple uh, private keys are stored. Um, and it works just like a wallet. So you can send and receive right from the app. There you go. And once this is shut down, everything is safe and secure on your Ripple device. Um, of course, unless you lose it or your house burns down, you're mugged, yada, yada. Um, and that's that's pretty well it. Uh, really, the most complicated thing here is just figuring out how to attach the thing to the goddamn lanyard, um, which I've included in some bonus content here. So here we go. Um, mega speed. First things first, you're going to take off this little nugget at the end, this little hoop. Yeah, just leave that off to the side. What you're going to do is take your uh, ledger and loop it through. Don't know what type of knot that is. I'm not a sailor. Um, so grab the big hoop and you can connect it on there. Or you can get your lanyard, and if you're going to the bar and you want women to know that you invest in cryptocurrencies, um, you're going to attach it to the lanyard. I recommend it. So loop that buddy through, and just like you did on the other one, and attach it. And there you go. Now you're the most popular person at the bar or the Microsoft Developers Conference. Uh, either or, that's Ledger. My name's Neeks. Thanks. Send any questions or concerns or um, Ethereum cryptocurrencies to my wallet. I love it. I love you all. Enjoy yourself. Thanks.